as a party, every party is formed for purposes of winning political power. Mm -hmm. And uh, WIPA is no exception. And um, as, as a party, we had a national delegates conference, in which case so all of us uh, asked our party leader mm -hmm. to vie for the presidency. We also, of course, later on uh, uh, had the National Executive Council meeting, which says uh, which accepted that position. But we, we put a we put a rider in it and said, but because of the knowing noting the the, the, the voting patterns in the country, mm -hmm. we asked him to see if he could partner with others so that we could uh, win the seat easily. Mm -hmm. And so he did partner with others and form the one one Kenya Alliance. Uh, along the way, uh, we realized that it might be better to work with Azimio La Umoja, and we now go together, and I think we've had that discussion here, and even the name changed from Azimio La Umoja to Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance because of WIPA mm -hmm. and its affiliate parties under One Kenya. So um, our expectation uh, was that our party leader would go in and become a candidate for presidency. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, Azimio pushed, put in a spirited fight for their candidate because they had been around longer. And they decided that uh, they, would, uh, they, would, they would want to fill their candidate, but we support their candidate. You know, Sam, it's simple. If, uh, it's, it's simply expected that uh, when you come into a relationship of that nature, and we are going in as equal partners, we didn't go in as juniors into the Azimio La Moja One Kenya. Mm -hmm. And that's why the name was changed 50-50. We went in so that uh, we could share political power. So uh, finally, when uh, it was clear that Raila Molo Odinga would be the candidate, mm -hmm. we obviously expected our party leader to be automatically the deputy. And this is because, and we have said this over and over again, that uh, Azimio La Moja One Kenya is a three-legged tool with Jubilee on one side with its affiliates, WIPA in its affiliates in One Kenya, and ODM with its affiliates in uh, Zimeo La Umoja. So we expected that uh, the, the presidential candidate comes from uh, the, the Azimio La Umoja, that is ODM. Mm -hmm. And the chair of the, that whole arrangement is the president himself who comes from Jubilee. Right. So we expected that the, 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 the only other seat that was there was the deputy president seat. We expected that to come to WIPA uh, because Kalonzo was the de facto leader of the, of the One Kenya Alliance. Now, when that didn't happen, uh, we, 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 we felt betrayed. And, and some, we still feel betrayed. Mm -hmm. And so we, we advised our party leader that maybe in, under those circumstances he should just vie for the seat because he did that in 20, 2007 and he knows that he has a vote block that supports him from across the country, but predominantly from Lower Eastern. So we told him that uh, he should go for the seat because if we are not feeling respected in this arrangement, then uh, maybe it's time that uh, he, we, we did uh, demonstrate our political muscle. Now, after that, uh, Sam, uh, there has been a lot of discussions because uh, he did announce and even he had to unveil also a running it at that point because you, you see there is also the political deadlines. So he had to unveil his running it mm -hmm. so that now if there is any discussions that can be held when we are prepared. Mm -hmm. So I will tell you this, we are preparing to go to the ballot if we cannot be able to strike a deal. That is a position. And let me tell you, you know, people have always, uh, you so, know, bashed us. So help me here. 45 yes. voted that he needs to go back to oh, the Oh, some, some those were those were fictitious figures. I don't even know where you got those figures from. There were more than 100 uh, participants in our meeting because we have a total of 145, no, 144 elective positions in Lower Eastern. And that was just, a, you know, we had just called a few leaders from Lower Eastern, not the whole of Wiper Brigade from all over, mm -hmm. because we wanted to listen to the voice of the of the of the leaders within our region before now listening to the rest we wanted to know what they are saying it wasn't it wasn't uh, you know 50 people there were over 100 the media was there they can tell you that there were over 100 people that came for that meeting do you so, think so so out of those and those are and we fielded a candidate in every elective position right. in lower eastern <coughs> now out of those over 90 percent were of the opinion that it would be better for us to work uh, with the azimio la umoja team and, and we made that clear. We said we would be willing because even they said that, yes, it would be good to work, but we have to be given our fair share and so, shown some risk. What has been the progress so far in having those conversations? That conversation, uh, Sam, I will tell you, is, uh, is above my pay grade. I think it is my party leader okay. that would be able to talk to the president and the, the right honorable Raila Molo Dinga and agree on a working formula. If we can agree on a working formula, then we can, I'm certain, but, but we can if work he together. goes ahead to present his papers on 4th of June, really, is that if a person? There's no, if, there's no, <coughs> if there's no agreement, then we will proceed all the way and then we shall, we shall talk on second round or third round or, or maybe we might even win it on first round.
So okay. some of the issue is this, that uh, our, 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 our candidates mm. uh, would be comfortable working <coughs> under Azimio La Umoja, uh, one Kenya, because we know that we did invest in that arrangement. Mm. But their only concern is that uh, w the way we felt, the way our party leader was treated during the time of even picking a, a running mate, we, we felt betrayed. Mm -hmm. Because after, after, you know, in 2013, he, 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 he forgo his, he, he forwent his, um, his ambition for president and supported Raila. Right. In 2017, it happened again. And in 2017, there was a written agreement. In 2022, we were all of the opinion that really, obviously, cannot do this again. Okay.